Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September. Now, keep in mind that this could happen at any time, and this reading may not be for you. I've already done one for September. I'll tag it to the end if you haven't seen it. Um, what do we have for Sagittarius? For September. That was quick, huh? Dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. That's nice. And then we have older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. So this older man is going to be prominent. Um, I like to say for these readings, you know, that, you know, the timing is fluid, fluid, which it is. We're all on a different your timeline we really are we typically tend to fall in line with our sign but something might happen for one Sagittarius today that happened for another one a month ago or a couple months ago or you know what I'm trying to say but what I just heard in my head is this is in the next week <laughs> so I don't typically say that it happened with my other reading that I just did as well I did one for Scorpio and I got the same message. It said, oh, I think this is going to happen the next week. And it's like, weird. But I have to listen because that's what I've been told to do. Anyhow, older man, dealings or relationship with an older man is going to be affecting you this week. Okay? This doesn't have to be sexual relations. I mean, it could be, but it doesn't have to be. This older man is going to be affecting your life. There is some sort of, uh, I don't know if it's a get-together, a party, or something like that. Um, what do we have for Sagittarius? Eight, eight, eight. Interesting that I mentioned Scorpio. Oh, it's not almost Aries got this, but I just mentioned Scorpio again. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could also be dealing with an Aries. 888 is the time is now. We hear the sirens. Mm -hmm. 888 is a time of abundance. It's a time of change. Um, it's very positive. Typically, 888 is positive change. So, so whatever is happening is is going to bring about some sort of positive change in your life. The time is now. Things could be happening fast. Something could be coming back around to be dealt with. Eight is a very karmic number as well because of the, the infinity. You know, what goes around comes around. So there could be some karma that is playing out in the very near future in the next week. But whatever is happening, it is positive. Eight is a number of abundance. You know, uh, abundance coming your way. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. The magician reversed. So the magician reversed is an abuse of power. Somebody has abused their power. It's no answer. It's a lack of success. But everything changes because of that 888. The magician reverse is a master manipulator. It's a liar. It's a thief. It's somebody that is up to no good. You may be dealing with a trickster, you know, or there's somebody here that is completely unaware of something. They're manipulating. There's some sort of mind game, mind games, mental manipulation, pathological liar, abuse of power. Somebody's abusing their power, but there's karma here. That 888 is a card. It is karma. What goes around comes around. Okay, karma, whatever. We have somebody here that is abusive. They may instill fear. You know, they're trying to cause fear. You know, this is somebody that is very dark. It's a dark energy. Hmm. There's no success. There's The Magician Reverse is lack of success. There could also be an unplanned loss here. I just got to be honest with that Magician Reverse. Um, magician reversed, lack of awareness. There's some sort of a liar. There's a liar here that is abusing their power. Temperance, look at that. That's your card. Now, temperance, we know, is about patience, balance, harmony, 
allowing things to happen, going with the flow. It's time for a change. That's great. It is. It's it's a beautiful transition as far as I'm concerned. I feel like you're in a you're going to be in a good place where you're able to handle this situation whatever it is. There's, there's some stuff, something that is coming to a close because death comes before that. So there's something in your life that is coming to an end. It's time for you to receive something better. I feel like it's because that's what temperance is. It's allowing, it's patience, being patiently waiting for something to come, you know, come to be. Allowing things, not pushing things, managing things very, very well. Peaceful, peaceful, I want to say peaceful transition. Even though with that magician reverse, there's abuse. I feel like this is at ease, at, a, at ease. Something is happening. It's a positive change. It's evolution. I feel like you're, you're in a place where you're not resisting anything. Although you have somebody that is probably working behind your back with that magician reversed. I feel like there's some sort of storm that is ending in your life. I feel like you've been through a situation that has been very, very dark with a master manipulator, somebody that is extremely abusive. This person may be threatening, you know, or you feel threatened by this person. There is somebody here that um, abuses their power, but everything changes. So whoever, and, and, and if this is you, it certainly could be. I mean, there is somebody here that has been abusive. This person has been manipulating, but everything changes. Something is about to change. Now, temperance is a card of, of healing. It really is. Healing from an abusive situation for some, from some sort of abuse. Manipulation. You may have also been lying to yourself. This is lies. And this is you, right? This is your energy. Lying to yourself about something. But everything changes. And this is a positive change. It's a change for the better. I, I, you know, what I just heard was getting healthy. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. Some of you are dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Gemini. We know that there's another Sagittarius. Um, unhappy home. Sad farewell. A family discord. Marital discord. Uh, the party is over. There's been some sort of party. The party ends, okay? This is some, there could be a fight. There could be an argument. There's abuse here. There's a master manipulator here. Uh, somebody doesn't want to put in the effort. They don't want to put in any work to the foundation. There could be some laziness here. Emotional manipulation. Delusionment even with the Queen of Cups reversed. This is like emotional manipulation. Um, emotions all over the place, uh, laziness, eight of pentacles reversed, not putting in any effort, just wanting to abuse, uh, wanting, going to extremes. There could even be some sort of addictions here. Four of wands reverse, unhappy home, a lot of discord, fighting on the home, at the home front, you know, wishing I was anywhere but here. We have somebody here that is, um, their emotions are all over the place. They, they lie a lot, um, Severing ties, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I said Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, taking back control, the redact or things get worse. I do feel like there is an addiction here. It could be out of control. There's a need uh, to commit. Somebody needs to commit themselves. They need to put in the effort. They need to find a way to break free from their own demons, but they're struggling to put in the effort because of the addiction that they have. Maybe it's an ego. Maybe it's an ego. It's a control addiction, being in control. You know, it's maybe it's 
some serious obsession. We may have somebody here that is obsessed. They're obsessed with being in control. Or there's a codependency here. We may even have a trauma bond. We have somebody here that needs to put in effort to take back control. They need, if they want success in their lives, they have to commit themselves. They have to commit themselves to their own happiness. They have to, they have to fight for themselves, right? They have to put themselves first. I feel like we have somebody here, and maybe it's you or it's somebody that you're dealing with that is causing a lot of discord. They're causing a lot of unhappiness. Um, this person is uh, toxic. They're very, there's some sort of toxic energy here. Maybe it's a toxic substance where somebody needs to find their inner resources, their own resources to put in effort to break free from it. If not, there could be a disaster. The devil reverses a disaster. It's when somebody goes to extremes with these two cards to abuse, okay? And, and things get out of hand. Anyhow, um, three of pentacles. Now the three of pentacles is putting in effort. It is working, it's communicating, it's collaborating, it's working as a team, learning new skills. I feel like we have somebody here that is communicating with somebody else. They're communicating. They're working together as a team, maybe even to abuse. You know, sometimes people do that. You know, they get other people involved. They come up with some sort of scam, you know, or scheme to take another person down. Usually if that's the case, it's out of jealousy. And, uh, and I, and there could be vindictive be behavior here. Somebody that is very vindictive and jealous, you know, that, uh, wants to take another, another person down because of their, their own demon, you know, um, there could be even be some threats here, you know, somebody that makes a lot of threats, you know, because it feeds their ego. Um, Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is stability. It's holding on. It, there is an obsession here. We do have somebody that is obsessed with holding on to something. They are... Communicating with others. They're communicating with others. A lot of people trying to manipulate there's some serious fucking manipulation here this person is obsessed i feel like you are about to experience A change for the better when somebody loses their cool you know somebody's about to lose their cool that's what I just heard and maybe it's you this is this is stability it does even though there's an obsession here this is stability security somebody's gonna be <clears throat> This is exchanging something lesser for something better. I feel like it's time for security. It's time for stability. It's time to work with people that respect you. And I feel like there's been some sort of lies, deception, trickery, abuse, where somebody has been severely bound to the situation, not taking any action, not doing anything about it, not putting in the work, but something happens to, that changes the direction. <clears throat> because the devil reverse is either severing ties or things get worse. There's some sort of communication that is being... Or collaboration. I feel like it's communication that opens things up. It opens up a door. <laughs> oh, God. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Pentacles reverse is an unplanned loss. It's a loss of an investment. It's letting something go. There's instability here. There's insecurity. So there's a change in security. There's a change in stability because this is insecurity to stability. You know, it's 
insecurity to security. I feel like we have somebody here that can't master their emotions. I feel like they can't master their emotions. They're not putting in any work. They're, there's a lot of havoc on the home front or in the, in the commitment. There's toxic behavior. There's unhealthy behavior. There's obsessions. There's ab addictions. There's going to extremes. We have somebody here that's abusing. They're going. They're ex abusing very badly. Whether they're abusing another person or they're ab abusing the drugs or the alcohol, they're going to extremes. They're saying something. They're saying something that is um, making somebody see that something is off, and it leads them down the path to security. So whatever that means for you. Um, Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is an unplanned loss. It is. It's an instability. It's a loss of something. Somebody's losing something that they had. And it's interesting because we go to Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles reverse back to the Three of Pentacles. Somebody is losing something that they had, but it's a change for the better because this is, if you take that Ace of Pentacles minus that Four of Pentacles, we get the Three of Pentacles again. So there's something about working with new people that are that are going to respect you this is a change for the better there's a change for the better here losing something that is no longer valuable that you've been holding on to for who knows what reason maybe because you just you couldn't find your resources to put in the effort to move on or you didn't want to do the work or there was some sort of addiction or uh, something that was in the way but I feel like there's going to be a change. And okay, somebody's about to uh, be working with a new team. They're going to be working with a new team. They're completely unaware of it, though. Hmm. Here we go. Nope, the hermit. Now, the hermit is a time of reflection, taking a time out to heal, okay? So, and there is a healing energy here. This is, this is like a healing light, right? It's seeing the light. This is a, something is being seen. I knew that it was. I could feel it. Somebody is going to be going into a period of isolation, a period of healing. I feel like it's you. I feel like something is going away. It's going out of your life that has been, that you've been holding on to. And I think that you've been holding on to it because of an obsession or an addiction or out of fear or whatever. It's caused a lot of discord in your life. Okay, you may be getting together with somebody. Maybe there's a party or something and things get out of hand. Okay. Um, I mean, that hermit is taking a time out, going within to reflect doing some soul searching, healing from a loss. This is healing from a loss. It is. There is a loss here. Gaining stability though, which is interesting. I feel like there's definitely been some instability, but you're gonna be gaining stability while you're healing from some loss. There's a loss here. Whether it's a loss of an addiction that you need to heal from and it's going to take time. I mean, temperance is all about time, right? It's time to heal. It's time to go within. It's time to uh, bring some sort of stability into your life and work with people that respect you. And I feel like you've been in an, abuse, in an abusive situation or you've been abusing yourself. Now it's time to put in the work. It's time to manage your feelings. It's time for a change. I feel like things are gonna be changing for you. Some of you have a queen of pentacles here. This is somebody that is very solid, stable, secure. This person may be able to give you some sort of advice. Or assistance. This is all about stability. It's all about security. Some of you may be deciding to focus on your stability, your security, your value. Now, this is, this is, uh, I feel like there's going to be a change in your value. Maybe it's your self value. Whatever is happening, I feel like you're going to be taking a time out to reflect on something that you have lost and be gaining some sort of stability working with people, 
gaining new skills, healing, healing. There's so, there may be a heartbreaking loss here, just saying. Something hasn't been working out, and maybe you just haven't been putting in effort, not managing feelings, but I feel like we have a new management here. It's like now this is like managing yourself. Everything changes. There could be an event. There could be an event that changes everything. Could be on the home front. Could be in your work, at your workplace. I feel like there's severing ties. I feel like severing ties from a codependency, whether it's a drug, addiction, person, whatever. I feel like there's been a loss of resources. There's been an abuse of power. I feel like there's been people that have been working against you. You may have been completely unaware of it. I think there's more than one person. Maybe you were aware of it, but you were just allowing the abuse. I feel like letting something go brings about a positive change for you. I feel like um, you're headed towards stability. I feel like it's a time of soul searching and reflection and healing. Re-identifying, re-identifying yourself. This is definitely an independent, I mean, loner kind of energy. I'm going to focus on myself. I feel like you're letting something go. I think that you're going to be definitely healing. Anyway, I feel like this month, you know, I feel like it, I feel like it starts out even when we have pleasure with a close friend, dealings or relationship with an older man, but I don't think it goes well. I don't. Not with the four of wands reverse. Nope, I don't. There's abuse. A magician reverse is an abuser. I can't make that up. Taking back control, taking back control from a situation, everything changes. This is a positive change, believe it or not. Knight of Cups reverse. The Knight of Cups reverse is sad. It's tears. It's unrequited love. It's emotions all over the place. There is some sort of sad. It's there's a there's a loss here. This is a sad farewell. There's some sort of loss here. Unable to master emotions at all. Not putting in any effort. Not trying. Not listening. Somebody hasn't been listening. They've been letting their addictions get in the way of their own success. Or their codependency. Whatever. This is an emotional loss. It is. There's some sort of emotional loss here. We have somebody here who is out of control. And I think that... There's going to be a change. I mean, the Knight of Cups reverse is typically somebody that says all the right things, but they don't have any follow through. They, they don't follow through at all. Very toxic energy. Extremely toxic. Maybe not somebody has a drinking problem. There could be an emotional outburst as well. There's definitely an emotional loss here that changes someone's perspective. I feel like this month you're going to be going into a period of isolation. You're going to be changing your views probably on... What is real? What is solid? What is what it, who you are even? Because I see re-identification in that hermit card. Breaking free from a situation that is not emotionally supporting you. There is some sort of sadness here. There's sadness. There's sadness. There's tears. There's over loss and I, I do apologize but there's a healing energy at the end of it good luck